Hi, in this video, let's create this simple shiny hover effect on a button. Here in the HTML file, all we need is a button tag and that is it for the HTML. Now let's go to a CSS file. First, let's give a few styles to the body. We'll give it a background color of 333. We'll also give it a height of 100 VH. Now let's center the button vertically and horizontally. So I'll give the body a display of flex. We'll say justify content to the center. Align items center. And now the button is exactly in the center. Now let's start styling the button. First, we'll remove the default border. Next, we'll give it a background. We'll be using a linear gradient. And this gradient is going to start from the left and end to the right. So we'll say to right. And the gradient is going to start with the color 46A046 and end with 5CB. 85c next let's change the color of the text to white also let's give it some padding of 0.5 em to the top and the bottom one on the left and the right now let's give the button a border radius of 1 em we'll increase the font size to 2 em and we'll choose a cursor of pointer. Now let's create the shiny effect. So in order to create the shiny hover effect, we'll be using the before pseudo element. So let's select the button, double colon, before, we'll set its content to nothing. We'll give it a height of 160%, width of 40 pixel and we'll give it a background color of RGBA 255 255 255 and the alpha channel is going to be 0 0.3 now let's set the position to absolute now this needs to be positioned in relation to the button so let's set the position of the button to relative and next Let's slightly rotate the shiny effect. So I'll use the transform property and I'll say rotate at 20 degrees. Also, let's position it at a distance of negative 20 from the top. Now on the initial state, we want the shiny effect to be outside the button to the left. So let's do that. I'll say translate on the x axis by negative 80 pixel. Now that brings the shiny effect outside the button. Now let's start working on the hover effect. So on the hover state, we want the shiny effect to enter the button from the left and exit from the right. So let's do that. So I'll say button colon hover double colon before. I'll make some space and we'll use the transform property and translate it on the x-axis by 230 pixel and we also need to add the rotation which is 20 degree now let's have a look now you can see that as soon as I hover over the button the shine effect moves from the left to the right now let's add in some transition. So I'll go to the before pseudo element and I'll say transition all 0.5 seconds. Now let's have a look. And here you can see that the shine effect is smoothly moving from the left to the right. And finally, also let's hide the overflow. So I'll go to the button element and I'll say overflow hidden and now let's check it and here you can see that we have the final shiny hover effect and that was quite simple to create 
and i think that is it for this video this was a pretty short video i'll see you in the next one till then have a nice day